Okay, so I recently learned about this money flip Instagram scam that a lot of people, I guess, have fallen victim to, and I'm so sorry to hear that. I myself have been scammed on something, but not like this. Like, you know, maybe I signed up for like a something where it's like 99 cents to try it, and then, you know, I canceled it, and then for some reason they kept, you know, taking money out of my account. So it's, I guess, a scam is a scam, but basically, this money flip Instagram scam, I guess, is where basically they'll ask you, they'll say that they can, you know, if you give them $200, then you'll turn that money into $2,000 or $215 and you'll get $2,500 back. And basically, it's where, from what I've heard, it's where they basically say that they know someone in a bank or something and that person can like change and add a zero to the 200 and that way it all automatically becomes 2000 or they just have different explanations as to how like it'll work like for example right here you know luckily that person right there I don't know what's this how are you doing and are you interested in earning some money and that person said that they already make more than that in one day so they just were like bye but like basically the whole point is is that if anybody in any situation where you're trying to make money unless there's like some sort of legitimate reason like say you're wanting to be a partner with somebody and you're gonna both invest in certain tools for a company or something like that most situations where you have the chance the opportunity to make money it should be where the company is paying you. You shouldn't have to pay to make money. And anyone who is saying that they can take your money and change it into a, a lot more money. First of all, I was watching some YouTube videos, just kind of getting an idea on the whole, you know, with this whole flipping thing and, you know, what there's, you know, all these YouTube videos talking about how it's a scam. And, and basically one of the people were saying how, basically that it's like what are they getting out of it like if they're taking your money and then changing it into 2000 what are they getting out of it? are they just a free will like I'm mean, the goodwill are they just like out there just being nice and giving extra money to everyone and and how does that even make sense like how can they do that because the banks would be able to notice an error especially in a bank statement where like suddenly there's eighteen hundred dollars more in somebody's account and, and there's nothing in there to say that something was deposited no money was deposited no paycheck no you know it just the banks would be able to pick it up they would you know and so anyhow it's just stuff that doesn't make sense like people can't just turn money into thin air or out of thin air and so luckily at least because you can see from Instagram I did a search on Instagram for money flip scam just because I was curious to see how many people were new about it and clearly there's you know 1600 people almost 1700 people posting about it but really it's there are a lot of people out there who are very trusting and who also you know think wow you know God is on my side God wants to increase me God wants to give me more money but when something sounds too good to be true as they always say it usually is and that's just because if it was that easy to make two thousand dollars you know two thousand dollars from two hundred dollars then everybody would be having tons of money like nobody would really have be having to work it just wouldn't make any sense and so i'm just kind of scrolling through to see all the people that have posted about it and what they what they you know someone saying that they almost got caught by a flipper but thank god you know they didn't they didn't so it's you know and and they have di and they go through banks and i think that's another thing i it, they also ask people to like give them information for their bank information and it, it's just basically at the end of the day if someone you don't know is asking for money asking for your bank information and and basically, if they're going to do something that sounds dishonest to the bank, basically adding a zero to 
your money, like your $200, then obviously if someone's going to do something to a bank they, that's dishonest, they don't care about you either. They obviously don't care about the bank. So why would they, you know, it's just, if someone's being dishonest already, you know that they would be dishonest to you. So that's, you know, just... I heard about the scam, I wanted to, you know, warn people, the more videos out there that warn people, the better. So, God bless you guys, take care, and always be better to be safe than sorry. Take care.